Hello and welcome to Study History with Mr P. In my second video on exploration, I look at Drake's circumnavigation of the globe. So Drake had not set out with the aim of being the first Englishman to sail around the world. His main purpose was to raid Spanish colonies in the Pacific. Great profits were, profits were to be made from the journey into the Americas, and there were plenty of people willing to invest in his expedition. Drake returned to England rich and famous he also made his investors rich, and that included Elizabeth. But his voyage almost ended in disaster. He set out with five ships, and by the time he'd reached the Pacific in 1578, he only had one left, the Golden Hind. Despite this, he managed to return um, to England in 1580 after circumnavigating the globe. It was a great boost to English morale and established the reputation of English ships and sailors as among the world's finest. Drake and his crew in part survived by raiding Spanish ships and colonies on the coast of South America. In June 1579, the Golden Hind was in urgent need of repair. Drake landed in a bay that was probably north of modern-day San Francisco. La local Native Americans treated the English with great hospitality, performing a ceremony that Drake took to be the equivalent of a coronation. He named the region Nova Albion and declared Elizabeth to be its sovereign. Elizabeth and other European rulers did not recognise the agreement made by the Pope almost a century earlier that gave the Americas to the Spanish and the Portuguese. Elizabeth herself gave her explorers the right to take any land that no other Christian leader had claimed. Although there were already plans being made to establish English colonies in the Americas, by the early 1570s they'd come to nothing. <clears throat> In 1578, Elizabeth I gave Sir, Jeff, Sir Humphrey Gilbert permission to set out on a voyage of discovery to North America, but it ended in disaster. Yet in 1584, he sailed again. Elizabeth knighted Drake on the Golden Hind. It sent a clear message to Philip II, who regarded Drake as a pirate, and Elizabeth's provocative actions as scandalous. It deteriorated Anglo-Spanish relations, but certainly cemented um, Drake's place in English society and English seafaring has been very important at this time. 